in our laws, in our culture, in our ethic, in our public discourse, in our narrative, and in your own lives. Because the atheists and the agnostics amongst you have no grounding to talk about morality. Come to you, Steve. This is just for you, bro. I love Steve. The atheists have no grounding. The majority of the world's population has no grounding in morality. What nonsense. What so, let us examine the claim. Do atheists and agnostics have grounding in morality? Yes, I'm one. I'm one. So let's talk about it. Let's talk. We can talk. Let's talk about it. For a Christian, morality is grounded in divine revelation. Oh, its authority rests in God. However evil that divine revelation. Yeah. So my question however to you. However misogynistic, however homophobic, Go on. How, you know, however other obics it might yeah. be. What your, is your, your morality your... grounded in? Evolution. Evolution. Which you don't have a problem with, evolution, do you? Okay, so allow me to reply. Steve, who is a good man, we disagree intellectually, but I like him. He's a good man. Despite being an evil atheist, <laughs> so Steve, with no grounded morality. So Steve says that his morality is grounded in evolution. Let us just unpack this for a second, because I put it to you, Steve, that you can withdraw no morality from evolution. Evolution makes no statement about morality. The theory of evolution, which I agree with and believe in, is simply a statement how one organism gives rise to another. It makes no moral statement. Any moral statement that we claim is from evolution is something that we have projected onto evolution. That's true. And is therefore as groundless as saying that my morality is grounded in the tooth fairy. So Furthermore, why, so why do massive atheist agnostic societies have morality? So, great question. Why do atheist agnostic societies have morality? For a number of reasons. First reason, most of them, and we're, we're talking about most of the West here, aren't we, Steve? Most of the West. No, I was thinking, I was more thinking of the East. Okay, the Far East. The Far East. China. Okay, let's deal with that. These, let's deal with China, he's given an example. China's morality is not based on evolution. China's morality is based on the fickle diktats of the Communist Party. And its morality... Chinese one society. Second, Chinese one second, people. One second. Chinese people. One second. Most Chinese people, now we're not talking about their society. Most Chinese people are not communists. There are more Christians in China than there are members of the Communist Party. And most people in China have a belief in some kind of divine, some kind of God, whether it be Buddha, Islam or Christ. Oh, they get it from Buddha now, not from God. Buddhism believes in the metaphysical. But you were talking about Jesus Christ, your God. So now you're broadening it out, any God. We're testing, are you abandoning the synopsis that we, 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 morality comes from evolution? Your, your speech, are you abandoning your, that? Your stance was it comes from Jesus. Yes, I did, for but me. now you're talking about pulling Buddhists Yes, for in. me, because I'm a Christian. So, so my so morality comes from... Get it of from course from Buddhists Buddha. have a morality. So it's only us atheists that have none. You have no claim to morality because it's not what grounded in... What does that mean, I have so, no claim? Right. Do so I let, have morality? So let me ask... Do I have morality? What is it grounded in? Do I have morality? You have a morality. Right. But I have a morality. Is, it, is it a okay. reasonable Steve, morality? let's have a conversation. Is it a reasonable morality? Let's have a conversation. A reasonable conversation isn't necessarily you dictate it. Okay, by the way. So, let me let me address your point and let me let me elu el elucidate my own. So you said, do you have a morality? Yes, I believe that most atheists have a morality. But I didn't claim that most atheists don't have a morality. I said that the morality that they have is not grounded in anything. What does that, that mean in my practical point. terms? So now me elucidate. What it's I a mean. bad morality? So what I mean by it is not grounded in anything. And to answer your question very quickly, no, I'm not saying it necessarily is. But not what so I'm saying, what? 
no, it's not necessarily bad. Right. What I am so saying, you can have morality and it so could be good, what but I'm you don't saying, need God or Jesus. What, what I'm is, saying, what I'm saying no is that it is not grounded in anything. Is that relevant? And the reason yeah. why... Is that relevant? Very relevant. And the reason grounded why... I'm trying to have a conversation with you, Steve. If you want to be heckler, I just go back to shouting. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. So, the point that I'm making is it's not grounded in anything. And why is that important? Precisely because of the question of the pagan. Because what is good? If your morality is not grounded in anything but evolution, well, the only maxim that we can draw from evolution is the survival of the fittest and the strongest. Yeah, yeah. Well, that kind of morality throws the weak to the curb. Except for we're a very developed social species, well, aren't we? Yeah. No, we're so, we're this so, man thinks we're, we're not a very well-developed social species. <laughs> this man is a pagan, not an atheist. This man is an atheist. So Steve is a classical liberal. And a classical liberal draws their moral paradigm from their Christian inheritance. And I'm going to prove it to you. Steve, do you believe that everyone here who is in front of you is equal? On what measure? On the measure that they should all be treated with an equal dignity. They should be treated with dignity, yeah. The same dignity. It depends. These are very generic. No, not very no, no. Okay, so they should all be the same under the law. If they fall ill, they should be they should be, they should receive medicine. So they should all. I'm not talking about their ideas or beliefs. I'm talking about their persons, their bodies, their minds. They 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 they, they um they deserve safety. They deserve or equally, yeah. regardless of any other factor. Well, I don't know. If, if Adolf Hitler was standing here, he probably wouldn't deserve quite as much If he had not committed any crime. Else. If, Hitler would be here. if everyone had committed no well, crime. So that, well, okay. that only includes Jesus then, doesn't Thank it, you. in your view? So, so let, me, let me address you. Did you see what he did? Crime. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. So we're all sinners, therefore so, we, yeah. we do deserve some evil treatment. So, so Steve view. admits and agrees, and this is why I said you can have a good morality, even if it's not grounded in anything solid. Bear in mind, I pointed out that Steve's Morality comes from a Christian heritage, and you heard him say... Oh, no, it predates that. It goes back further than that. No, one second. I'll prove that you're wrong in a second. I'll prove you're wrong in a second. He said that we should all be treated equally in terms of our safety. And you're going to claim that's a uniquely Christian thing. It is a uniquely Christian teaching. Okay, what are the religions? You admitted five minutes ago that the Jews also do it. So when a Christian talks about Christianity, they always include the Jews. That's always included in Jews. Because you know that our religion comes from Judaism. Yeah. So tell me another religion that teaches the equality of all human beings. Pagans. No. Do you, you're a pagan? Yep. Do you believe that all human beings are equal? Nope. There you go. No, <laughs> oh, he represents the entire... Do you know paganism is a multifaceted religion? Paganism. There's many, many... There's Druidism, there's Wiccanism, there's, there's lots and lots of types of paganism. So he pointed out paganism. Which is a, a massive, multi. So let me let me uh, deal with this point, and please note point. I'm dealing. Please note, Steve. I'm dealing with your points. You need to deal with mine. So he talks about paganism. The paganism that we encounter today has nothing to do with the paganism that was encountered by the Christians and the Jews. The paganism that we have today is a modern construct born in a Christian paradigm. So when a, when a pagan in the West says, I believe all human beings are equal, they're saying that because they were brought up in a Christian world. If I lend 20 quid to this pagan, and this pagan lends that same 20 pounds to Steve. You'll never get it back. And that's Steve, right, right. and Steve doesn't know that I'm the source of the 20 pounds. He could be mistaken in thinking that the 20 pounds came from the pagan. But it didn't. It came from the Christian. And that is exactly what you've just seen. Steve claims that a belief that some pagans have, not all, some pagans have is their own invention it's because he doesn't know where they get okay, it from. the history of this island that we're standing on now what proportion of the totality of the history of this island this lump of rock that we're standing on is christian relatively recent i would say less than 40 percent but now right. steve steve let you're claiming all steve, the good stuff being christian steve the point is ladies and gentlemen Cultures weren't born yesterday. 
Moral paradigms weren't born yesterday. Moral language wasn't formed yesterday. It takes centuries to build a civilization. Not two minutes. It wasn't birthed at the last general election. Steve needs to study Edmund Burke, a Christian political scientist who would elucidate and educate Steve about the evolution of political law. And you would like him, Steve, you really would. But the point of the matter, ladies and gentlemen, here's why we need morality grounded in something other than man. Because if society grounds its laws purely on its own will and whim, then when the parliament or the right stag passes a law that Jews cannot marry Germans or that Jews should be discriminated against apart from winning an election and apart from changing the law. You have no grounds to stand against that law. I have every ground. On what basis? What the ground is? Based on my own morality. Which is based on what? Evolution. Evolution. <laughs> what maxim can we draw from evolution, Steve? We're a, we're a highly complex intellectual, some of us. You believe um, everyone here is social intellectual? Social species, which has got incredibly complex networks amongst us. Of psychology, of relations, of communication, of knowledge. Do you think that's true of Iran? It's true of every human society. It's true of every human society. Do you think that we should replace British law with Iranian law? No. No. Because that's the wonders of democracy. So that's the wonders of democracy. Did you yeah. hear him say that? Yeah. Now what did I say? Not the wonders of Christianity. We don't look to Christianity for democracy. We don't look to Christianity for freedom of thought, freedom of belief, freedom of speech. We do not look... Where, where are the freedoms in the Ten Commandments? None. So, where is one freedom listed in the Ten Commandments? The last five so, commandments are used let me allow me, but they're not. They're, allow me, ladies and gentlemen. Freedom. Allow me to allow me to address the multiple points Steve has made. Where Steve is? Did you all hear him? Don't get distracted, Steve. Did you all hear him? All human societies are equally cultivated and civilized. I didn't say that. Iranian, I did not say that. Iranian civilization. That is true of Iranian civilization. <laughs> Why are you I don't words want in my to mouth, Bob? I don't Come want on, be to more honest, Bob. replace You're British putting words law in my mouth. with Iranian law. I did not Why say not? all cultures are equal. Because he wants Clearly, British law. I would never say all cultures. Because that is the wonder of democracy. I didn't say in other words, he is grounding morality on, you're losing, in you're losing the law of the parliament. You're losing faith in the law of the parliament. These people can judge who's following the argument well. Then you you're said, just putting complete words into then my you mouth. Said, I didn't go anywhere near Then you said, where, I did not say all where, are equal. Where, where, you accept that. Where, I did not say. Where, where, where I did not. Where, I did not. Does the Bible I did, teach where did I say all that all human again. beings really have freedom? Here's what the Bible says. You tell a lie, then you the shout. The Bible says, you shout louder and you shout where the Spirit is, there is freedom. The Bible says that the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, goodness, kindness, gentleness, and self-control. And where these fruits are, there is no need of law. That's what the Bible says. So deal with my world. Why did you go off on a lie? Why did you do okay, that? Let's do the exercise again. Why did you do that? All Why human, did you go off on a lie? All human societies equally cultivated. I didn't say didn't that. Say no. 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 Absolutely no. Brilliant. No. Give me an example of a society that is not as sophisticated as our own. All of them. All of because them. we are the best. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. To degrees, yeah, some are very, yeah. very close. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But we are the best. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so, oh, oh, I'm going to expose yeah. the okay. relativistic contradiction at the heart of Steve's thinking. You all heard him say that the paradigm of excellence is Western civilization. Incidentally, I agree. But I agree for different reasons to Steve. But now, Steve, answer me this question. What is it that makes Western civilization objectively better than all the rest of the world? 
that's a good question. Because it most closely matches mine. Did you hear that? And you're asking me. <laughs> yes. So therefore, well, of course it is. Entirely oh, subjective. Well, it's not objective. Is it objective. What we're discussing is not objective. Is it objective? But what we're discussing, yeah. the subject, is not objective. I knew we would say that. It's fine. It's fine. You're on it, I'm on it. So just because Steve, he uses the word objective to describe something that's subjective does not make it objective. See, I knew Steve would say what he said. Because I've taken the time so well. to understand Steve's worldview. But Steve has not taken the time to understand the Christian worldview. <laughs> Believe me, they tried to drill it into me so, for years during childhood. One second, Steve. Steve just said that the reason why the Western world is better is simply because it most, cl most closely matches my own view as what is best. But the problem with what that, honesty? What honesty? the problem with that, the problem with that is if the majority of our society became Nazis or Islamists overnight and could win an election, society would pass very different laws that Steve would disagree with. And he would have no appeal to anything other than his own opinion. Christianity, however, can give a grounding of morality that can tell Steve he's wrong and can tell the Islamists that they are wrong. Some of it quite disgusting. Don't even know what you're saying. So, and what's the My mum is my dadism. But there you go, there's a ground. There's mom. A lot of oh, do we just say that you know nothing about the Steve, relationships and the dynamics. Would it be fair to say that your mother helped to form your moral compass? Yes. Well, as as much as any parent. Thank you. Influences. So so does my father. So does my school. So does my friend. Great. And my colleagues. So now I want to introduce. That's the, that's the interesting aspect of human society, isn't it? Now I want to introduce a doctrine of Christian political thought <coughs> that lots of people are not familiar with. When the Annunciation of our Lord occurred and the angels appeared to the shepherds, they said, Glory to God in the highest and peace to people on earth of good will. That term, good will, references the fact that morality is not found solely in Revelation. We Christians don't believe that something is morally good or morally bad just because the Bible says so. Thank the Lord. We believe yeah, yeah. The Lord that something is morally good or morally bad because nature itself points towards its creator. And that is why nature I can make a non-biblical nature point oh, towards its creator. I'm just about to give you an example. Are you gonna maybe use I am the, maybe just you about to the give you an example. I am just about to about give you an example. I'm just about to give you an example. I'm just about to give you an example, Steve. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, I can make a non-biblical argument against homosexual sexual acts based on nature alone. I can make a non-biblical argument against abortion based on nature alone. I can make an environmental argument based on nature alone. Yes, yes. That is the fullness and the beauty of the Christian worldview. Notice, I am appealing to things outside of myself, and Steve is appealing only to his own opinion. Yes, again, he has no morality, so grounded should, morality. What should we do about Steve? How would you like to reply to that, Steve? We'll make one point, a specific point. Okay. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, there's hundreds of homosexual speakers, there's hundreds of homosexual priests, victims, rectors, Christians, and some of them are having sex. Okay. So